Hi, in this movie we're going to take a look at our UV texture editor. We'll also take a look at how we can make some quick select sets, which allow us to do some planar mapping, and then we'll select our shells in the UV texture editor and do a UV snapshot to take it into a paint program so that we can assign our textures. So I have my perspective and UV texture editor layout over here. The UV texture editor can also be found under window, UV texture editor. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select a few faces and do some quick select sets. So let's start selecting some of the front faces. So I'm just simply holding down shift to do that. There we go. So I've selected all my faces over here and except I didn't select a few. So let's go back and select them. And there we go. So I'm going to go under create sets quick select set and let's call this front and simply say add to shelf so if i deselect this right now and if i select it the set should get selected and sometimes if it doesn't get selected you can also go under edit quick select sets front and there you go so i'm going to do the same thing for the side so i'm going to select all these side faces right over here so i'm going to pause the video while i do that so right over here you can see I've selected all the sides and I'm going to go back to create sets quick select set and let's call this sides. Let's say add to shelf. Now at this time I'm going to start doing some planar mapping so let's select our front and again if I can't select from here no big deal I'll go to edit quick select sets front. And make sure you're in the polygons menu set go under create UVs planar mapping and right now I'm going to do the planar mapping from the x-axis because if you look at the bottom left of the screen, the x-axis is pointing in the direction of the face. Let's do that. And keep image width and height ratio, say project. So right now my UVs are nicely projected over here. So pretty much what I'm doing is I'm peeling or unfolding my entire model so I can nicely lay it down flat and take it into a paint program and paint some textures on it. So and later get those textures back in Maya and apply it to my model. So right now I have my front faces over here. So let's click outside. And don't worry, it doesn't go away. If you click on the model back, those are here. So let's right click UV, select one of the UVs. And to select the entire shell, you just do control right click to shell after one UV is selected. And then I'm going to simply scale this down and move it over here. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the sides. So let's move this down over here in the work area. And let's go to Edit, Quick Select Sets, Sides. And you can see the y-axis is pointing in the direction of the face this time. So let's go to Create UVs, Planar Mapping, from the y-axis, Project. And there you go. And let's make sure, let's go back one more time, y-axis, there you go. Actually, that wasn't the y-axis, that was the z-axis, my bad. So let's do it again from the z-axis, because I have to look over here in the bottom left of the screen. Let's project, and that's exactly what we want. Click outside. I can simply drag a selection, right-click UV, drag a selection around all these to select the UVs. And let's scale them down. Then I'm just going to take all these guys and move them over here. And later what I do is I select all the UVs over here. And I'll simply go to Polygons, and let's tear this, and go all the way down to UV Snapshot. And I will give it some name, like go to Browse, right now out UV is fine. I normally use 1020 by 4 by 1024. I use the image format either Targa or TIFF, and I'll say OK. And then I take this to Photoshop, or any other print program. So in this case, I've taken it to Photoshop and I painted my textures on this and let me show you a file where the textures were then applied so let's open the texture done file over here and here you go so these are the UVs right over here and the texture is nicely been applied if I show you the hypershade right now let's open the hypershade quickly and here's the let's just say show materials on selected objects and you can see that this is a simple Lambert 
And on the color channel over here, I've simply applied that Targa that came back from Photoshop. Right here, thrownback.tga. And that's what it looks like. 